guess this is technically episode four of the Reddit Said It podcast. We have with us a very special guest today. We have Steve Newman, who is, uh, we in the agency refer to him as like the male version of Mo, who was in the first three episodes of the, of the podcast. Anytime we have an on-camera need for a very handsome, very well-spoken dude, Steve's our guy. Um, so Steve, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm so excited to you do You were this. a natural choice. You were, you were, as soon as we talked about having a dude on the podcast, um, everyone said Steve. Oh, shucks. Thank you. Oh, shucks. He oh, says. shucks. Oh, He's shucks. a shy feller. Oh, shucks. He's just a super shy feller. Uh, very, very smart, very, very funny dude who does great on, on camera stuff. So uh, it was just a natural choice to have you on here. And we greatly appreciate it, sir. Well, thank you. I, I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, professionally assessing if somebody's an asshole. Yeah. So you know, I, I never would have thought that uh, that the gig I would have ended up in, that I would have really excelled again, was um, was assholery. Like, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm a professional assholer now. This just bumped to the top of my career choices. Yeah. I yeah. mean, on the resume, really think about where like um, an asshole evaluator. Really would turn up there. I think uh, that sounds like something else. That's a probably different job. Pro- <laughs> a lot of school for that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so, so you put that on your resume, and somebody's like, "Are you a doctor? Are you? Or do you do you do like colonoscopies for a living?" Like, no, I'm a doctor of sorts. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. We don't we don't deal with physical assholes. Thank you very much. Uh, we deal with with. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Psychological assholes. Yeah, uh, figurative assholes. Figurative uh, assholes. Figurative. That's right. Okay, so here's how this goes. We have a few Am I the Asshole posts we're going to read. Uh, I'll read through them, and then we'll discuss if we think that they're the asshole or not. What I like to do is also take a look at what are the potential paths of, um, of solutions, if there are any there, and try to kind of help the OP, which means original poster, uh, on see the path to success here also see any dangers that lie ahead for them not that they're ever going to see this or hear this uh but just in case we want to try to be as helpful as we can right we're doing a public service that's right we're doing okay. god's work god's work here are we gonna just going in and out of british accents the whole time uh yeah all right i've, uh, al- I've always admired that about you can you. flow in and out of accents all you want they uh so the the audience here is quite used to me using a moira accent i don't know if you've seen moira. any of that what's moira moira rose from uh schitt's creek oh i've watched a couple episodes but i've never dude i've never deep dove so I, I know i need to i it will is, so the acting is just so on point I, i've always loved you you do that like when we're shooting a lot too you'll just dip into an accent i, I don't control it. it it's I it seems completely involuntary and I it love, is i love that about you i think it's indicative of multiple personalities moira is your other personality she's one of them that's good let's meet them all <laughs> i don't think we want to meet them all huh? <laughs> there's a really pissed off russian in there <laughs> that comes out sometimes when shit hits the fan and nobody wants him to show up here there's today. many assholes here coming out <laughs> Okay, here we go. Am I the asshole for asking, not insisting, that my boyfriend switch meals with me when I don't like what I've ordered at a restaurant? Using a throwaway account since I'm a founder and moderator of my city's subreddit and my boyfriend could easily see this. I've been friends with my boyfriend for years, actually together for about three months now. He's the sweetest guy and I know he's been seriously hurt in the past and I'm so happy we're finally clicking after being flirt buddies since MS. We are 25 now. Whenever we go out to eat, he always orders the most basic thing. 99% of the time, it's a cheeseburger plain, ketchup on the side with honey mustard to dip his fries. He actually loves exotic food, but he says that menus and making choices stresses him out, so he doesn't want to put thought into it. I love trying exotic things, and to me, that's the reason to go out to eat. To me, it's so exciting. My issue is, things always look and sound better than they turn out, and I decide that I actually just want a burger. So usually, I'll ask him if he'll switch with me, and he always does and never complains. Most of the time, he even says how good his food was. To me, it's a win for both of us. It gets him out of his comfort zone, and we don't waste food. Last night, we both had to work really late, so we met up at a sports bar. They were having a calamari special, which sounded really good. Ooh, that does sound good. We should should do that. He ordered a cheeseburger as usual. I just wasn't feeling the calamari when it came out, so I asked if he'd switch with me. He said no. I asked him why not and said I didn't want it to go to waste. He said, then you shouldn't have ordered it. I was like, excuse me. 
He then went into a tirade and said, I treat him like a garbage disposal. He's a grown man. I'm being immature. Don't pin my crap on him, etc. I said it sounded like that was a rehearsed speech. He said maybe it was, since I insist on stealing his food every time we go somewhere. Joey doesn't share food! (laughs) I started crying, and he said, don't start that bullshit with me. Here, have both meals. And he got up and walked out. He has not called or texted me, and it's 6 a.m., and I honestly thought he would call to apologize by now. I called my sister, and near quote, You're an asshole for waking me up at 5.30, and he's going to see you as asking as insisting. That's really crappy of you to put that pressure on him. And she basically hung up. Since she said it, am I the asshole? Okay, we have to discuss we have to discuss what we've read so far before we go into the update. What are your thoughts, Steve? <clears throat> I'm I'm trying to keep an open mind about this, but but I think we can pretty definitively say she is the asshole. I, I mean like I'm open to further discussion, but like I, I think it's pretty well settled. She's she's an asshole. It it sure seems like it. Now there are a couple of things that I think are worth noting. Number one, he orders food like a toddler. But she knows that and takes advantage That's of true. That. That's true. Now, okay, she knows that and takes advantage of that, but let's flip the script for a second. He knows that she's going to order something exotic and, and switch with him. That's nothing new. That's been a repeated... That, that's a pattern. So they both have a pattern that they both accepted. He orders boring shit because he's afraid. She orders exotic, exotic shit and most of the time swaps with him until now hasn't said anything but do you think he really likes the exotic shit or do you think she just assumes he likes the exotic shit because he's always agreeable you know he's like he wants to like please her and make her happy so he's just like okay fine i'll eat your calamari until now until now right it's all built up and like she said it was a rehearsed speech right so yeah. you know what is a trauma is uh trauma is the explosion of something that's happened to us right now but has also happened many times before right so he's probably been sitting on this for a hot minute waiting to lose his shit on her <laughs> so every time he's strapped to the toilet after eating something exotic he's just re- rehearsing this God. script and building up in his mind he's yeah. like don't pull that bullshit on me. Uh, no. You I'm, ordered it, you f***ing Be me. a man. Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> I, think he, I think he's been angry about this for a while. Yeah, but he didn't speak up about it. He let it build up, made her think that it was all okay. She's an asshole for doing it in the first place without asking his permission. I agree with that. But he's also partially responsible for this because he didn't speak up sooner. And, and if you don't speak up sooner and you allow something to continue, you, you create that behavior, right? Right. He allowed it, so he created that behavior, and then it happened enough to become a pattern, and then he spoke up about it. So if you don't speak up about something up front, you kind of lose the ability to get uber pissed off all at once. I feel like he had the right here to be like, no, you know what? I, we've done enough of this, and, and no mas. I will not have your calamari. Uh, and please don't do this shit ever again. But instead, he unloaded. He was literally fed up. <laughs> or not. Yeah, or not. Un- he just wanted his goddamn cheeseburger. <laughs> it's been six months and he hasn't had a goddamn cheeseburger. <laughs> because he always gets stolen from him. His favorite food and she just assumes it's because he's a toddler. Oh, okay. I think you make a good point. <laughs> All right. So is she the asshole? Yes. But also... He's kind of the asshole here too, right? They both have to take ownership of their part in this, and he's not speaking up in the relationship. Correct. Saying what he needs. And she's assuming that everything's all good. You know what really gets me, like, take this one step further of her kind of being an asshole, is she made a call out kind of at the beginning about him being, what did she say, like being taken advantage of or hurt or traumatized or something like Let's that, see like a whole bunch of different times? Let's see it. Uh, but, but, but he's the sweetest guy, and I know he's been seriously hurt in the past. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. He's been seriously hurt in the past, so I'm happy we're finally clicking. After well, being- I think we can assume that part of that means that if he allowed himself to get hurt, then he was probably either too giving or allowed too much to happen. And so... So it's not that we can't assume it's the same situation, but a similar pattern. Right. And I think what gets me about that is she's recognizing that he's really sweet and has been really hurt in the past, which makes me think she's almost taking advantage of him a little bit and his naivety, his kindness, his people pleasing tendencies, his 
uh, tendency to fawn, right? Um, and give in to her needs. And so she has some level of awareness of that damage. And yet she's still, instead of advocating for him and helping him speak up and make choices to try new exotic things, she's almost like forcing him to comply. And then also then like forcing him, forcing him to like, you know what I mean? Like he's forcing him to comply and then like taking advantage of it and like pushing him into the situation, yeah. which is like a double whammy. Right. That sucks. But she also thought she was helping him, at least according to her post here. Yeah. That's like she a, said it's that's a like win win. That's he like a Thanos kind of thing. That's right. right. Like, like, that's true. <laughs> just you kill half of them. Right. Like get the calamari. <laughs> you yeah. should be grateful. Yeah. You should be grateful. I've saved humanity. That's right. <laughs> okay. So I, I feel like, it's kind of a 60-40 split right now. Uh, maybe 70-30. She's 70, 70% so. the asshole. He's 30% the asshole. Right. Yeah. I would say. She's the dirtier part of the asshole. For if sure. he goes to therapy, I'll knock him down to 25%. Agreed. If he starts ordering something other than freaking plain cheeseburgers. Yeah, that's yeah, that's weird. You think he gets condiments on it? Just, just On the side. Toilet. On the side. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it. Yeah, ordering ordering things can be stressful, and you go with what's what's safe. But I mean, if if that's what he really wanted to do, and not take the exotic food, he should have spoken up about it earlier. Do we do we need to reach a final conclusion? Not yet, because okay. we have an update to read. Oh, there's I think more. Let's okay. let's read but the wait, update. Yeah. More. Okay. So here we go. Here's the update. Edited to add. Well, he called and didn't even let me get a word in. He said he needs a break. And that if he hasn't been happy in the first three months, then the relationship isn't for him. I guess you all are proved correct, and I'm the asshole, and now single asshole. So on the original Reddit post, I guess they came to the conclusion that she was the asshole for doing this, and uh, and now he's he's legitimately fed up. Yeah, he I gone. Th- he's gone. I and I think he's been probably upset for a while. Kind of like I think this reinforces that. I'm kind of proud of him here for standing up for himself. I think, but he, it's too late. It's too late. I think, but I do think he has to own that he didn't handle it well, and hopefully he grows from that experience. Right. But I think he's, he's right. If he's not happy in the first three months of the relationship, he's probably not going to be happy. But he's also not saying what he needs, which still makes him an asshole. Agreed. Or, or at least he's not aware of that he needs to do that. I, he obviously needs some practice enforcing boundaries, and this was a good test <clears> run, but. The thing with enforcing functional boundaries is that you enforce them and the relationship continues. Right. It evolves. From right. That. You, yeah. you would enforce a boundary that people can work with and that you can work with. You don't just sever everything. Severing isn't a boundary. That's that's giving up. Yep. And I think I mean, it, good for him for standing up for himself. Finally, he did it way too f-ing late. Well, he had to get to this like tipping point where he's so upset about it that he can't even keep his shit together. He's just like, it's, it's gone from being a nuisance to being contempt. Right. You know? And like at that point it is kind of hard to come back from, but he's going to do this over and over again. And honestly, like it, unless one of them disrupts their cycle, like she's going to do it over and over again too. Like she, unless she's aware of that in a relationship, she's just going to keep taking advantage of the same type of people. Hopefully this has been the disruption and the pattern for them. Yeah. Hopefully they're seeing this video right now. I'm, we're talking to you. That's right. Time to change. Listen, okay? calamari girl, and cheeseburger yeah. boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, like a comic book. I don't want to read <laughs> <laughs> from makers of aqua teen hunger force. <laughs> cheeseburger boy and calamari girl. Calamari girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do the bluey, uh, the bluey octopus. <laughs> okay, so the shit part here is that, number one, you know, the more I think about him ordering very basic food, maybe that could be a behavioral thing. I mean, he could be on the spectrum. It could be like a crippling anxiety thing. We don't know what causes him to do that. But if he feels strongly about it enough to, to end a relationship over. So... Uh, she thought she was helping him. Turns out she wasn't. He should have spoke up early. It may still be savable because they were friends before, but there needs to be a lot of communication about what happened and what she thought she was doing and what he thought he was doing. And they were friends before. And that's the one thing that gives them hope for getting past this and at least being friends afterward. Yeah. And therapy and therapy. Yeah. Therapy would probably be good for both of them. Um, him getting as, 
anxious about ordering things as he does, probably more so him, just in general. Um, if he hasn't yet identified what is the reason for that. If he has already and he's just learning to, to live with it, then cool. Um, but there's something there that probably needs work uh, or it will continue to inhibit his ability to have relationships throughout life. You think so? Like the yeah. cheeseburger thing? Not just It's not just the cheeseburger thing. It's if he experiences that level of anxiety about ordering food, relationships are stressful. Right, right. And but, you have to make choices that are stressful okay, in relationships. Okay, all right. Let, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to devil's advocate on this guy here really quick. So I think like what if, what if she's blowing that out of proportion? What if the guy is just likes cheeseburgers and that's comfortable and safe for him. Like I, I, I have a, I have plenty of like slightly neurotic things that I could probably spend some time working through in therapy, but they're just like things that I think are generally harmless. They may point to a, a larger issue, but like the thing in itself, if it, it's like, okay, I, I have to do enough complicated things in my life. Maybe I just want the ease of just ordering a cheeseburger and not having to think about that. And I'm perfectly happy with the cheeseburger. Right, it's entirely possible. It's totally speculative. Sorry, not not Every, not, not relevant. Here, all probably. of this is speculative. Well, it, that's yes, all we right. can do. We have the words up here in this post, if, and that's all we get. If we're, we were, if we're we assuming would, the rest of their lives. If we were two this. flies on the wall sitting in the room of calamari girl and cheeseburger boy, yeah. we'd have a totally different. I'd view probably ask for an autograph. Oh yeah, yeah, but you'd have a hard time grabbing the pen because <laughs> of <a> little squiggly calamari <laughs> calamari hands. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we're gonna come back in just a minute and read another story. Um, I think our our what well, what is our verdict on this? Have you have you changed from where we were before, like a seventy five twenty, or was like a 70-30? <laughs> I think the ruling on this is ultimately complicated. Okay, I think I am I am going to say one hundred percent that in this particular situation, they're both kind of being assholes, right? She's an asshole primarily for assuming that he doesn't want to switch food or for assuming that he would want to switch food and losing losing her cool. Like, I mean, she kind of lost it on him over him not wanting to switch. Like, she expected that he would just do that. Right. That's not cool. But then he also reacted, and he's responsible for his own actions and that in his own emotional response. So in the particular situation, they were both being an asshole I think they both need to evaluate like how they approach a situation like that in a relationship because that will continue to be a pattern and a problem for them for the duration of their lives. I think it's also difficult to say like that they're both conclusively assholes, you know, like they might be perfectly wonderful people outside of not being able to communicate well in a relationship. Right. You know, well, and, and we have, we have situational assholes here. I think right. that's where we're at. Um, his they're both responsible for their actions he's also responsible for his inaction yes for not speaking up sooner and hopefully i mean ultimately i think they both were trying to do the right thing so none of them are the neither are the asshole and they're both the asshole at the same yeah. time yeah so i think it's kind of a 50 50 split now at least in my mind but yeah uh but it is savable and i think that's that's the cool part here they were friends before so they 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 knew how to communicate when they were flirt buddies um so <laughs> Hopefully they can talk past this and actually, you know, at least be friends, maybe then flirt buddies again, maybe then dinner pals again, but now they know how to communicate. Yeah. Cool. All right. I think we've solved this for them. We, we did. You're we welcome. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Hey. Boy, that's Inspector Gadget. If you guys get married, you have to invite us to the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. down. All right. Okay. Dusty Thunder and I need a nickname. <laughs> You got to be like Stevie, Dusty Thunder, and Stevie. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> it, it, it rhymes. How, that name's already taken. I, I like it. No, I no, I like it. <laughs> I think it's great. I Dusty Thunder and Stevie there. Wonder here. <laughs> here, we'll be right back. Yeah.